Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. I am Fakri Zaki Ghazali, Head of Fixed Income Strategy at RHB Banking Group. In this podcast, let's have a quick look at Dialog Senior and Perpetual Suku. Dialog Group Berhad was established in 1984 as an oil and gas service provider and subsequently listed in Bursa Malaysia since 1996. In 2020, the group has established two suku programs namely the 3 billion senior Islamic medium term notes and the 3 billion subordinated perpetual Islamic notes. We view the group to benefit from the favorable sector outlook amid strong oil prices. Our sector analyst sees oil price to stay above $100 per barrel with a year end target of $104 per barrel. ESG risk premium could limit the flows into the oil and gas credit space, but we view the commitment towards net zero carbon policy as positive. Dialog's profitability has been proven resilient amid the COVID-19 pandemic, contributed by both Malaysian and overseas operations. Dialog has diversified income base from the integrated operations, i.e. from the contract revenue from EPCC and terminal facilities business. Dialog's terminals facilities are expected to grow from 4.6 million cubic meter to 5.1 million cubic meter in 2022, mainly from Pengerang in Johor, which should add the group's recurring income base. Dialog's credit rating has been stable at double A2 for the senior suku and single A1 for the perpetual suku. We see this location between the senior and the perps are due to the latest shortest uh, duration to call versus the senior's maturity in 2032. Nonetheless, we see the spread to normalize considering the rating differentials. On relative valuation, both Dialog Senior and Dialog Perpetual are attractive at above 5% yield considering its solid credit profile within the oil and gas credit sector. Other oil and gas names such as Petroleum, Sarawak Exploration and Production rated AAA, Yinsen Holdings and its subsidiary Yinsen TMC as well as Bumi Armada are among the outliers. In summary, we see Dialog Suku could offer an alternative income proposition due to its favorable sector outlook from the high oil prices solid fundamentals from stable recurring revenue and prudent capital management, attractive bond yield pickup relative to the equities dividend yield and other sector peers, as well as the semi-annual cash distribution from the suku will provide predictable income stream for the investors. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Have a good day, stay safe and stay healthy.